Right, I'm walking up under the railway bridge here. It's nearly quarter to eight. Not expect to see anything at all. We at all. But just in case we do, I'm recording. Right, we're looking back. Now I can't see the boiler of course because it's way up on that green hedge. No signs of any large crane. Okay, let's go up this way a bit. Okay, well we get up past this fence and see what things will look up there. Right. No photographers at all. Let's all appear at the last minute. The crows were obviously in residence, want to see it. <laughs> Just no signs of life whatsoever here at the present time. Just gone quarter to eight. Well, they were obviously very excited. Well, we're all right up by the main road now. I thought there at least be a police car parked up here. Right here. Of course, eight o'clock is the time that we've been publicised. Could even be that's the time that the crane will have come down. I don't know. No signs of anybody else here. Nobody sitting in a car with a camera, that I can see. I think I'll go halfway down the slope so that uh, if there is any movement from within in the factory, next factory, I can see it happen right now. And I do see one or two people approaching from both directions now, whether they're photographers or not, I'm not sure. But you can see the pathway that goes up here, up to some decaments. Where are we over there with some uh, equipment on it? Jasper's enjoying his morning walk. Come on. All these people have got cameras, but they say there's no action, nothing's happening. So, um, has it been cancelled? There's no five to eight, absolutely no sign of any action. It's ironic in a way because it's a notice uh, by these main gates saying caution moving vehicles. Well, there ain't none. Two of the vehicles approaching the factory, but uh, so I don't think they're part of moving the boiler. I wonder if he's uh, got any information. That's an electronic gate. Excuse me, do you know if the um, boiler's coming out this morning? Yes. 
later, is it? Because it's 8 o'clock now. Well, I must stay. I must stay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, that's something. Half an hour to wait. I wonder if they've got a lift up a, a power cable somewhere for it to travel underneath. Alright. Good job it's not raining. Gates are closing again. Another shove is turned up, <coughs> hoping to film it perhaps. At least I'll be with her and we've got half an hour's wait. A van came in just now uh, into the factory and I asked the man if he knew about it. He says, Oh, it's half past eight. It's half past eight. So we're a bit early. Was <laughs> so it o'clock in the new paper? I know, it did, yes. I was here nice and early, hoping not to miss anything. Got half an hour wait now. He worked in there for 20 odd years. 20 years, yes. Gosh. Yeah. I did my apprenticeship in there. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Yes. Must have been quite a shock when they said they were going to close oh, it. I was already gone by then. I was one of those who went beforehand. Oh, right. But, you uh, had yes. a warning that that was coming, didn't you? Yes. Well, we were. It was, their, their numbers reducing over the years from what yeah. it was. But my dad was in there. That was his heyday. That yeah. was over 600 people used to work in there. Cool. Yeah. So, hence then, when I did, like I say, I did my apprenticeship in there. And then obviously after time moved on. Yes. Um, but now, but yeah. now it's uh, it's just it's day of the day of the well the boiler going out, isn't it? So, yes, uh, that'd be the final uh, yeah. chapter, really, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. I actually filmed when they brought those two new boilers in a couple yeah. of years ago, and I felt 14, what, 2014. I thought, well, good, they're going to invest a lot of money in this site, but I changed their mind. <laughs> I had two minds when I saw the boilers coming in. Did you? Yes, because right. I thought when they were coming in, they can be taken out. <laughs> right. the, original, the original boilers were built in situ. All oh, right, all oh, yeah. right. Yeah, the, the original boilers, they weren't, they weren't package boilers. Yeah. Were they, they were, gas boilers? They were gas boilers, yes, yeah. but they were tubes. Yeah. So that unlike, a, unlike a shell boiler, what these are. Yeah. So they weren't re, they were re removable. They were all tubes, so uh -huh. they were the original boilers. Well, the there tube were, in the whole system, right? Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah. Built, in, built in situ. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I've been reading up a bit of the history. It's amazing how many years ago this all started. Yeah. Oh, there's a police motorcycle there. He thinks it's going to be eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought when I came up here, I'm surprised there's no police here at all, but... Uh, well, I think the trouble is, like, all of this now, I mean, I mean, I'm... Because I used to go away with the paper mill. The paper mill used to take a lot of stuff from away. We used yeah. to go and get machinery from other mills that used to break down, or yeah. shut down. And that's one of the jobs I used to do, was go and get stuff. And we used to send a lot, of, you know, we used to go and get stuff and bring it back to here. And yeah. There were several other companies within the group, weren't there? They, uh, yes. Were they all gradually being shut down? Yes, there is. There's only one left. Hmm. And that's, that's where the boiler's going. Yeah, of course. Going to... Um, Mainly because of always this competition, I suppose, is it? Uh, I think there's a lot of things. Yeah. There's a lot of things involved. Yeah. I mean, the mill's been shutting since I started there. When I went there, it was always going to be a oh. uh, <laughs> question mark over it. But they kept going. And they yes. kept I mean, the thing is, the paper mill always diversified. They right. kept diversifying into this, into that. Yeah. Which I, I take me out of them. They always... Um, but in the end, I think location and market forces hmm. maybe did them. Shame. Maybe belonging to a bigger group didn't help. No. So. I'm, a, I'm a great fan of the Somerset, West Somerset Railway. And I know the days when they, they used to have a line in, didn't they? With sidings and all the rest of it to did. deliver and take things out. They did have a, they did have a, a siding. I'm not sure what year that all disappeared, but that was probably... Well, when I went in there, they were still in there. Oh, no, yeah. not, 20 not, when, years ago. not the tracks. The tracks, the original tracks were still in the, in the yard. Yeah. Because everybody used to fall, fall off of them on their bicycles. Hey, Chris. 
everybody used to oh, get their, on their bikes, there used to be a bike hazard. Because you were allowed yeah. to ride your bike on something, but every, every now and again, somebody would fall off their bikes. Yeah, all right. Somebody else approaching now. Whether they got the message or is a bit later than what they say. That Land Rover's going in. No, when I saw the, the boilers come last time, there were about four police motorcycles and a couple of big police uh, four by fours yeah. as well. <laughs> Stuart. Hi, Stuart, all right? Is that another worker of the site, yes. is it? Yeah. How are you keeping all right? Not bad, mate. Good. Long time no see. <laughs> and you. And you. Give a lot of mischief. As much as I can. Have you both got to? both got other jobs now? Yeah. Oh yeah. yes. Locally or Yeah, I am. Oh that's good. Oh that's a bit Sorry. of a travelling for you to do then, yeah. I'm at the Great Inkley Point. Yeah. You're so, at the point, are you? Yeah, I've been at the point now. What well, been at the point now? Fifteen years. Oh you're in B, are you? B, yes. Yeah. yeah. How's the progress out there? Is it <laughs> seaside, massive it... side. Yeah. Huge. We don't see much of it here, do we? Oh, we actually. Um, oh, it's a piss car. We actually on a tour. I went around there the other day. Yeah. Because you, know, you can actually, if you got to um, the visitor centre, um, Bridgewater, you can book a tour, mm. and they'll take you around the site. Mm. Um, oh my lord! <laughs> Don't think she would. Um, but it's worth just driving around. It's huge. Mm. It is massive. <laughs> Serious stuff in there. Right? Oh, they certainly have. Yeah. Everybody's forgotten about the radiation problems these days just to get the employment, I think. <laughs> radiation isn't a problem there any more than it is anywhere else. Great. They've got it you all know, sorted they, they, now. They've got it so tightly sewn up. Great, great, yeah. They, they wouldn't allow radiation leakage. Yeah. It just wouldn't happen. No. Well, I believe, I think in the worst case, if something really awful did happen, places like Bristol would be affected by it anyway, so... Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> you can't do much about saving the population of Bristol. Ah, I mean, you go on and on about that, couldn't you? Oh, I mean, when, when Chernobyl went up, yeah. the alarms up here went off. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, that, that sensitive, every, yeah. Everybody in dose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's not... It's life, isn't it? Yeah. Part of progress of life, right? Yeah. Evolution. I don't know if you're coming up, but I don't know if he's got a camera over there. <laughs> I was at the stand for five minutes and I filled a 61 seat of bus up. I mean, it's, I mean, it's nothing to the numbers. Are you there. just dog walking if you come to film the boiler going? Sorry? Are you just dog walking if you come to film the boiler going? No, I'm just dog walking. Dog walking. <laughs> <laughs> It's, just, it's delayed. I'm just surprised to see anybody here. <laughs> yeah. But are you associated with that free bus that we get around here now then? Uh, loosely, it's the oh. same company. Oh, right. They, they provide the community bus. Yeah. That was a very generous move of them, wasn't it, to do all that? I think it was the first bus that used to, used to do the route. They said it wasn't profitable, they couldn't do it. No, all. no. So EDF said that they would pay for it. Excellent, yeah. So, good relations, public relations. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I come to see a boiler come out, not you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, one of the security people? <laughs> 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 well, Chris. I was just stayed looking out the window cab. Say, what, 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 what are you the front of the carnival? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got one of the cover, cover DS Smith jackets. Of course, this is normally just the entrance, isn't it? Not an exit. I wonder if they'd be going. You've got in and out of here. This is in and out. Oh, because what's that other one, that other entrance up there? Is that disused, is it? Yeah, that used to be. Yeah. That used to be clocking in place. Used to be years ago. Yeah. Dad used to go in. It's quite a sharp angle to the, the road. I see a lot of people park up there now. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> I'll park me car that night, Chris. 